Everyone's been talking about the Kashmir Files movie and now former Jammu and Kashmir Chief Minister Omar Abdullah has added fuel to the raging Kashmir Files fire. Abdullah has declared that the film which depicts the brutal exodus of Kashmiri pundits is peddling lies. Meanwhile, the filmmaker Vivek Agnehotri has now also alleged that certain groups are trying to ban his film in New Zealand, for example. What's been happening on that front? Take a look at this report. The Kashmir is going to go. Our people are dying, sir. Kashmir is going. Open the arms of Kashmiri Hindus. Open the arms of Kashmiri Hindus. Open the arms of Kashmiri Hindus. The Kashmir Files has reopened old wounds and created new fault lines. Filmmaker Vivek Agnihotri's most talked about film has stirred up a political controversy. The latest to add fuel to the raging fire is Omar Abdullah. The former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir has slammed the film for peddling lies. The Kashmir Files is being actively pushed by the BJP ruled states. State governments have been declaring the film tax free and giving employees special leave to watch the film. The Prime Minister himself had called out the ecosystem for trying to discredit a film which he said revealed the truth. So, the meaning of this is that these things are being thrown away from the truth. Because we don't have a show in the truth. Now, there's one film that has become a show in the truth. In which there has been a show in the truth. In which there has been a show in the truth. In which there has been a show in the truth. In which there has been a show in the truth. The makers of Kashmir Files have been crying conspiracy. In the latest, Vivek Agnihotri has claimed that some communal groups were trying to get his film banned in New Zealand. The Home Ministry has also granted Y category security to the filmmaker. Agnihotri will now be provided with the security cover of eight officers, which is likely to have two commandos and six police personnel. Kashmir has never been an integral part of India and this is a historical fact. Directed and written by Vivek Agnihotri, the Kashmir Files depicts the exodus of Kashmiri Hindus from the state after systematic killings by Pakistan-backed terrorists. While a whirlpool of politics and hysteria swirls over the Kashmir files, has one of India's most blood-drenched chapters finally been dragged out in the sun? Bureau report, India Today. So let's go across now to my colleague Sunil Ji Bhatt reporting live from Jammu. Uh, Sunil, what has rattled the National Conference and former Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, Omar Abdullah? Because at a time when politicians could have actually come across together, expressed solidarity, empathy, could have asked for reopening of cases, are actually saying that it's full of lies. Absolutely, Pooja. The political class of this country should be doing soul searching at this point of time because everyone, every political party has failed the Kashmiri pundits. Now, as you said that the national conference is rattled because uh, the Kashmiri pundit organizations have been saying this for a long time that the national conference and Congress government in Jammu and Kashmir remained indifferent towards the problems of the Kashmiri pundits and it was during Farooq Abdullah's time when he was the chief minister and Rajiv Gandhi was the prime minister at the center the terrorism began there there were uh, people who were ideologically driven towards radical islamist movement and they crossed over to other side of the pakistan uh, occupied Jammu and Kashmir they went there they received training there and then they came back and then they unleashed terror against the minuscule minority of Kashmir that is Kashmiri pundits now in this movie the role of uh, uh, the then 
uh, Farooq Kubdullah government has uh, come under scanner. Uh, yes. The movie talks about that also. Although the character has not been named uh, mm. Farooq Kubdullah, but it seems that somehow the movie hints that the then Farooq Kubdullah government was okay. indifferent towards what was happening in the Kashmir Valley. And this is something which uh, Governor Jagmohan, former Governor Jagmohan, has said in his book, My Frozen Turbulence in Kashmir, that he sent report after report to then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi, but he turned a blind eye to what he was saying. Jagmohan Mohan was expressing concern that situation was going out of okay. control in the Kashmir Valley. Radical Islamism was taken okay. uh, was taking center stage, and that is why now, because this movie has brought the problems of the Kashmiri pundits to the fore, and that is why some political parties are rattled now. A political storm over the Kashmir Files movie that's already shattering records at the box office collection. Sunil Ji Bhatt reporting from Jammu. Thank you very much, Sunil, for now.